just putting on my new cashmere gloves that I got for Christmas let's take Gus out on a dog walk so that's the agenda right now oh that was really annoying there was like this little plastic thing you know that like hold the gloves together when they're in the shop and um yeah it was really hard to get out the glove got like tangled anyway like i was saying welcome back i'm just about to take gus on a dog walk it's it's actually new year's eve so happy new year if you're watching this because obviously it'll go out in the new year so yeah it's new year's eve i've not actually got anything planned tonight it's been such a busy year and i was like i actually just want to stay in have a nice chilled night i bought myself a bath bomb from lush yesterday i got myself a nice dinner from m s and yeah i just want to stay in do my vision board Ooh. sorry darling we're going in bed let mommy just do a let mommy just say hi to the vlog okay and then we've got our walk I'm saying yeah so we're just gonna stay in Gus and I Alex is in London he's working so yeah we're just gonna have a chilled self-care New Year's Eve together which I'm actually really excited about but for now we're gonna go for a little walk have a coffee and maybe even a little bite to eat Enjoy playing. Come on, you're tired now. Gus! <gasps> What's this? What's this? <laughs> right, we're home. Just plumped here, I'm just washing my hands. We've just got back from our walk and then we nipped to the bagelry which is bagel shop on the way back. Gus loves it in there, he always runs in because they give him a treat. And yeah, we were going to sit there like outside and eat it but it started to get really cold and I could tell that Russ was getting, Russ, <laughs> Gus was getting really restless so i was like we'll come home i'll eat here and then at least i can just get on with what i need to get done i think gus is gonna need a shower now as well because he was running around with these dogs and he's full of mud aren't you you are a filthy boy now but did you have a nice time yeah so yeah i'm gonna eat my bagel now I got I got a Philly cheese steak bagel, which I haven't actually had from there before. I usually go for like they do like a bacon and hash brown stack, which is really nice. Um, oh, my hair is so thin at the moment. Basically, you guys won't have seen because I haven't vlogged in so long, but I had a weave in for like a month, and I've had weaves before and. If anything, they've made my hair thicker because they've like protected my real hair. But my hair, I don't know if it's just because I've been so used to having like 200 grams of hair on my head, but it just feels really thin. So um, yeah, I love that for me. So I'm gonna have to get some hair oil on my scalp. Oh, look at that. Oh, can you see that? Philly cheese steak. I'm going to need a plate for this. This is going to be messy. My earring just came out. It's not good, is it? I've got my AirPods in. Sorry if I was just shouting. I've got my AirPods. I have my AirPods in. I always do that. I'm like, why am I shouting? I've got my AirPods in. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then I need to wash Gus, which is a bit annoying really because our cleaner came around yesterday. She comes every two weeks and the bathroom is gleaming and I feel like when I wash Gus, it's gonna be all like dog hairy, but, yeah, but whatever. Mm. This place is insane. It was so steamy in there though. I couldn't actually sit inside. Sorry, the battery just died as I was about to take my first bite. 
and I wanted, I saved my first bite to show you guys. Bit of mayo, obviously. Right, let's do this. Oh my gosh, this is so messy. I'm actually so glad I didn't eat it there. Mmm. Mmm. All the steak goodness. Mmm. One thing though. These bagels don't hold the filling very well. But every time I eat one it falls apart. Mmm. But so tasty. Anyone who's visiting Liverpool, the bagelry. Mmm. So good. I'm so happy right now. But yeah, so nice chill with New Year's Eve so far. Like I say, I'm gonna wash Gus. I also wanna take the Christmas decorations down. Not that we have a lot. And to be honest, I don't know if I'll be able to do the tree myself because it's a real tree and the pot's really heavy. So I might need to wait for Alex to come home, which is annoying because I feel like that tree just has old energy now. Like it's not Christmas, do you know what I mean? Every time I look at it, it's just, it's not giving me the same feeling. So I'm going to try and attempt to take all the Christmas decorations down. Um, on then yeah i want to build that drawer i feel like i've got loads to show you i've been like amazon obsessed at the moment so i've got some new bits i want to show you i'm going to put my drawers together i just want to have a really really nice organized evening oh yeah and i also got i think i mentioned this earlier but i got myself a lush bath bomb as well so i'm gonna have a nice bath tonight i've been really into the crown i know i'm late on the crown like, i'm sorry and I, I know but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I'm at the part where it's a bit, it's more about Margaret and how she's struggling with like not having any purpose in the family. So I'm enjoying it, I really am. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this and then we'll crack on oh, with everything else. Oh, I need a holiday, I'm so pale, it's so depressing. Thin hair, pale. But you know what, we're going out tomorrow, so I'm going to glam myself up. I feel like I need it. I feel like I need to just, like, zhuzh myself up, you know. real tree because it's messy <laughs> and look what's happened so i basically just had to cut all of the branches off the tree put them in that bag and that's like the trimmed tree in that bag so i can carry it down to the bin but yeah what a mess i'm trying to make sure gus doesn't step on the thorns as well because they're quite prickly my hands are really sore. But yeah, almost there now. And I've put all the decorations in a box for next year. OMG. Doesn't it look so bare in here now? I've decided that I need to get something for here. Like, you know where the Christmas tree was? I moved the chair to the side. I know there's not much space, but it just needs something. I feel like I need to get a plant or something there. But yeah, Christmas is officially over. Flat hair, I just don't know what to do with it. I'm hoping tomorrow when I put some curls in it, I'll just give it a bit of volume, but yeah. So that took way longer than I thought it was gonna take. I basically had to cut the Christmas tree down, put the branches into a bag and then it was really heavy like the base of it because it's one of those where if i watered it it would have we would have been able to keep it but i didn't water it obviously 
so yeah that took so long and to be honest i don't know if i can be bothered to do the drawers tonight but now i just want to get on the sofa carry on watching the crown have a bath with my new bath bomb let's go sweet there sorry i've got you a bit of a funny angle um yeah i'll never get used to picking up glisses poo that's one thing as a dog mom never get used to that gross um, what was I going to do? That's it. I was going to show you some bits I've got from Amazon. So, I really want to get... I start, basically, before Christmas, I start getting into yoga and Pilates. I started getting into it. I was going to, like, a, a local yoga studio. But I thought, in between my classes, I could do, like, my own classes at home because I've got a Pilates... What's it called? The Pilates class or something. Um... I'll find it and I'll let you know but basically it's like a subscription and you can get all of the classes so I thought I could start doing it at home so I got myself this lovely mat I wanted one that wasn't like too I know this sounds stupid but like sporty looking like I wanted it to be like quite like nice and girly so found this on Amazon it was £21 and it's nice and spongy as well so I'll let you know how I get on with that and I'll link it below if anyone's interested in joining me on this pilates and yoga journey and i also got this is to do with the drawers that i'm going to be putting up at some point i got these like dividers i've already got some but i thought i might need more because there's like six drawers in that drawer set that i bought so i thought these would be really good to divide all my makeup or skincare i think i'm gonna put some like skincare like duplicates that i've got as well that i don't want to keep in my bathroom that's if i've got enough space in there um so yeah i've got these i've got how much they were now i think they were like 11 pound for one two three four five six i think there's six in there when i open it i'll be able to confirm so i got that and then <laughs> Thing i'm most excited about so basically let me tell you the backstory so i really wanted an nespresso machine for christmas for a bit i really wanted one anyway and then i was like actually like i like a coffee i like going out and having a coffee but i'm not really because i drink decaf i'm not really like a big coffee person i feel like nespresso is for the people who want to try all the different flavors and strengths and all of that so i was like actually it's quite a lot of money for someone who's not really that into coffee and then, I don't know where I got the idea. I must have seen on Instagram someone, oh, I can't remember now. But basically, I just, either way, I basically found out that you can get these milk frothers. So you know, like with the Nespresso, you get the milk frother, which is the main thing I wanted, really. Not the actual bit that like grinds the coffee or whatever it is. 25 pound. Excuse the mess, but look at this so it's got like a base thing as well which is in the cupboard it's just dry in here but you literally just put the milk in there in fact i'm not even going to ruin it i'm actually just going to make yeah because you can do really good hot chocolates as well so i'll actually make a hot chocolate so i'm gonna do it and i'll show you how to use it but i'm really chuffed with that purchase because like i say I was actually going to invest in like a proper coffee machine and what a waste that would have been when all i really wanted was the milk froth apart which i've managed to get so much cheaper on amazon so i'll link that down below as well for if anyone's interested and i think that's it i am loving amazon at the moment i'm not gonna lie i've kept my prime membership i did the trial like november and i've used it a lot it's really good i really like it for like you know, if I just forget, like, toilet rolls and things because they arrive next day. Yeah, it's really, really super helpful. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go and chill out now, light some candles, run a bath, and, yeah, just have a nice, relaxing night. Do you want to play with your mummy? Do you want to play? You've been so good, haven't you, today? oh yeah i didn't actually end up washing goss because he wasn't actually that bad it was his coat that was really muddy so the coat protected him but you're not that bad are you i wiped you down with a wipe yeah but i will give him one soon i just can't be bothered right now goss 
Let mommy get it. Let mommy get the toy and then we can throw it. Please. Ha ha ha. Peter sent me this lovely crown jewel. Oh god, I'm not the camera. Um, yeah, they sent me this really nice gin. I'm not a huge gin drinker, but I kind of fancy one tonight. So yeah, I'm gonna make myself a little gin and tonic. on i've got sea bass i'll show you in a bit i've got like um a warm salad that i've made i've just put so i picked this up when i was at lush and it's their sleepy body lotion i've used it before and it's so nice and it's really it's really relaxing yeah i mean that obviously that's what it's meant to be it's got oatmeal and lavender flour and it just smells incredible doesn't smell like traditional, like that lavender smell. Just smells really like soothing and almost like creamy. Like you can really smell the oatmeal. It's one of my favourite products. I've just put it on now. It's really nice for like when you get out of the bath or the shower in the evening. And yeah, it's just, it's amazing. It's an OG. I just smell it all day. Tonight we have just a little something that I knocked up. So I forgot what I've got now. So I roasted some sweet potato, mushrooms and broccoli. Did it in the air fryer, really simple. And then I fried some sea bass. And then I made a bit of a sauce really. I just put in the pan tomatoes, garlic, lemon juice, a bit of butter, um, fresh parsley and i think that's it yeah and then i've just topped it with pine nuts and a bit more parsley Thank you. 
January today. It always seems, feels like a lot of pressure around the 1st of January. Does anyone agree with me? And I'm really trying to unwire this whole attitude around the new year, but in like a healthy way, because I feel like there's still a lot of positive elements to it as well. But yeah, I didn't really sleep that well last night. I don't know what it was. I had a really chilled night. I did everything to wind down. Um, I got into bed. I did my vision board. I watched The Crown for like, <laughs> I always get so hooked. Um, but yeah, I just didn't sleep that well. I think I'm just missing Alex, so. Um, yeah, but anyway, we've got to keep it moving today. So I'm going to start with a little Pilates. Like I said yesterday, I want to start getting into Pilates more. So I'm just going to do a little 15 minute routine. Um, and then I need to walk Gus and get ready to go out and have lunch with my friends, which I'm really looking forward to. So yeah, I'm going to get to it. We're going to have a good first day of the month. starts to line i'm probably gonna leave him in bed whilst i am um, whilst i do my pilates you so cute you are so cute because you mm. you're just gonna relax in bed darling mm. I adore you, don't I? How does it feel to be adored? Hmm? Every single moment of your life. Right, we can have a good year. We can have a good year. Yeah! <laughs> I thought I'd just show you this is how I like to start the day with lots of hydration. So I always start the day with a herbal tea. Today I've got a pucka tea. It's one of their feel new teas. And then I've got, I always like to chug as much water from that bottle as I can. And then I've made myself some coconut water. with my friend Abby and Alex. Thought I'd do a quick outfit check. I'm running a bit late, but I think we've just got enough time. So I've got this little tan utility skirt from Arca. I actually got this in the sale in the summer. And then I've got a cashmere jumper. I don't know where that's from, but it's like a turtleneck cashmere black jumper. And I've got my Source Unknown blazer on, which is super oversized, really thick. And then I've got my naked cowboy boots on. And then I've got my Saint Laurent and my nanny's engagement ring, which is absolutely gorgeous. Good morning, everyone. I don't know what's going on with the light. I'm just on my way to Harvey Nichols to have my facial. It was actually a Christmas present, this facial. And I'm 
okay i'm really looking forward to it so yeah i've not got many like actual skin concerns at the moment my skin's actually pretty good um so yeah i'm just really looking forward to seeing what they can do give me that added glow because you can always have more of a glow definitely i think i'm probably just really tired and i've been drinking far more than i usually would i don't usually drink that much but with all of the christmas festivities and everything have been drinking a bit more so yeah i'm really looking forward to this um so i will show you what my skin's like on the other side with my new milk frother which i told you about isn't it fabulous so this is actually one of the attachments that you get with it that makes hot milk and then you still get a nice foam at the top and then there's also a milk frother that you can use which is another attachment which makes it really foamy like a cappuccino so it's very versatile and i'm very happy with it so i've just made myself a little mocha as you would have seen so I just mix hot chocolate powder with a bit of decaf coffee and it's divine. I'm not going to lie. I felt like I needed a little afternoon pick me up. It's currently the 3rd of January and yeah, it's a bit, bit gloomy. I had a driving, driving lesson this morning. That went really well. I'm really starting to enjoy driving now. I'm really starting to get more confident. So that's good. So I'm going to be on the roads in the next few months, which I can't wait about, wait for, wait about. So I did my driving lesson this morning and then I've just been doing a few emails. I had a call with a client and like I say, just easing myself in. I think it's so easy to be like, I've got all these goals, all these intentions and you just want to hit the ground running. But this year is about 
sustainability for me. It's about making sure that I don't have those periods where I just absolutely crash. You know, looking after myself, taking care of myself. Um, and yeah, I just want overall growth. I think growth and happiness should just be the most important thing because everything, everything follows then. Everything you're destined for, every, everywhere you're meant to be, every opportunity that's meant for you will come your way. I think when you're feeling your highest self, continuously growing, being aware and being happy. So yeah, goals and things. I don't have loads of crazy goals. I just want to continue in the same direction that I'm in at the moment. And um, yeah, just carry on loving life, hey Gus. I saw a meme the other day and it said, was it a meme? I think it was like a TikTok or something like that. And it said, um, money comes and goes, but you'll never be 20 again. No, you'll never be, you'll never be raising your fur baby in your 20s again. And I was like, that is so true. Like this is, these, this is just the life, isn't it? And I think it's so important for us to be more present. I think as a society now, like everything's so fast paced. We're to totally engrossed in fast paced media and there's just so much information. And I think we just need to really cherish every single moment and be grateful. Because we have so much to be grateful for, we really do. And I think that's another thing that's, that gets lost this time of year because it's like, I want this and I'm going to do this, but you can't get to those places, you can't get to that place of happiness without that gratitude and without being able to identify that you're so lucky. So yeah, I hope everyone's all right. I know it can be a hard time of year. Surely has hit me today. I woke up and I was like, oh God, it just all felt so much, but you know, small steps happiness, gratitude, it's the main thing. And um, yeah, I've really enjoyed filming this. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's really random. I know it's just been a lot of me chatting. Um, one thing before I do go, Alex is currently having a lie down now and then he's going to put the drawers up for me because obviously I didn't end up getting around to doing them myself. I'm just, I, you know what? I'm good. There's a lot of things that I can do, but putting together ikea flat pack i'm sorry it's not for me it's just not for me <laughs> um so yeah we're gonna do that shortly so i will show you that i will show you that but i'm gonna i'm gonna sign out now and i'm gonna just say thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one <laughs>
um my chanel bronzer there these are eyelashes that i never wear but you never know one day i might want to wear them <laughs> And then in here, I've got all of the products that I work with. These are like all of my clients. So it's always good for me to have samples to show to retailers and whatnot. And then here, I haven't finished this drawer yet, but what I'm going to do is move a lot of my hair styling products and tools into here, which are currently in the bathroom. So, so yeah, I actually think this is meant for another vlog. I feel like I'm going to do another vlog and I'm going to show you kind of how I organise things and yeah, we'll have a little organisation. We'll have a little organisation meeting at some point. But for now, Happy New Year to you all. 